Hello my dear students. Welcome back to Learn Physics. In today's topic, we are continuing with the Rear Optics chapter. In that, as I said you in the previous class, we will be doing some numericals based on the previous two sessions. That is, uh, first day we learned about the introductory part of reflection in that uh, apparent position, real depth, apparent depth, uh, loss of refraction, all those things we learned. And in the second uh, day, we were learning with total internal reflection. Okay, so relating to that some formulas we learned. So today we are going to some numericals. We are going to do some numericals relating to that portion. Okay, so the first question, please listen the question. So while, you, while I'm reading out the question, you can, if you want, you can note it down somewhere or you can hear the question and try to solve that using the formulas which I taught you and after that you can check whether you are getting the correct answer or not. So in the previous 2-3 uh, classes when I was doing the numerical I was not saying the final answer because you can do it by yourself thinking uh, such a manner because calculation will be a bit difficult and the video will be lengthy by that time. So, uh, so today the final answer how you will be getting when you are doing the calculation that also I will tell. Okay. So here the first question goes like this. Light of wavelength 6000 angstrom in air enters a medium of refractive index 1.5. What are the wavelength and frequencies of light in that medium? So wavelength is given as 6000 angstrom and enter in air and enters a medium of refractive index 1.5. Okay, refractive index is 1.5. Which what are the wavelength and frequency of light in that medium? Okay, then about what is the frequency and wavelength? Nu and nu dash and lambda nu and lambda dash we need to find out. Okay, so how can what is the relation connecting n and lambda? We know n equals c by v. Right? C equals nu lambda and nu lambda dash. So refractive index of the medium is given as lambda. So n and lambda. From that we can find out the way, uh, this frequency. How we can find out the frequency using n and lambda? So here nu and nu will get cancelled. Lambda dash equals lambda by n. So 6000 into 10 to the power minus 10 divided by n is 1.5. So here we will get it as 6, in 60 div 6 into 10 to the power minus 7 divided by 60 by 15. So 4 into 10 to the power minus 7. This much of meters we will get as wavelength. Now we can find out nu. How see v is equal to nu lambda. So here nu equals c by lambda. Right. Nu equals c by lambda. C is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. It is given lambda is 6000 angstrom. So 10 to the power minus 10. So here we will get it as 2000. So here. Uh, 10 to the power 8 divided by 2 into 10 to the power minus 7. 1 by 2 is 0.5 into 10 to the power 15. Okay, this will be the, uh, this much of hertz. This will be the frequency. Okay, clear. So, 5 into 10 to the power 14 and here you will be getting 4 into 10 to the power minus 7. So, in this using uh, in in this uh, numerical we are using only the formulas n is equal to c by v and or we can write it as lambda by lambda dash equals or lambda by which is the first medium second medium depending on that you can change this n is equal to lambda divided by lambda dash okay these are the two formulas which we are using over here okay clear second question what is the speed of light in glass of refractive index 1.5? So refractive index of glass is given as N of glass is 1.5. Given speed of light in water is velocity of light in water is 2.25 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. Refractive index of water is 
1.3 we should find out the velocity of light in glass you tell me how we can find out see n is equal to c by v okay here n of uh, this uh, n of glass is given using this you can find out the value of c and substitute over here you will get the final answer so here n equals c by v so c equals n into v therefore n of glass into v of glass will be equal to n of water into v of water so here 1.5 into v of glass equals 1.3 into 2.25 into 10 to the power 8 so when you are calculating you will get it as 1.3 divided by 1.5 into 2.25 into 10 to the power 8 while calculating you will get the final answer as uh 1.95 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second 1.95 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second okay clear children it's easy one so the same formula which so you should by heart these two formulas okay v equals nu lambda so some formulas and all it should be thorough for you n is equal to c by lambda c by v n is equal to lambda by lambda dash those for those kind of formulas you can just go through okay so the next question is what is the apparent position of an object below a rectangular block of mass 6 cm thick if a layer of water 4 cm thick is on top of the glass given refract index of glass with respect to air is given water with respect to air also given okay first i'll write this and we'll write down next question is a ray pq is incident normally on the refracting phase of the prism a b c made of material of refractive index 1.5 complete the path of ray through the prism from which phase will the ray emerge and at what angle justify your answer so here you can see this is a prism this is 30 degree it's given as here 60 degree pq is incidenting normally if it is incidenting normally what will happen without any deviation it will fall here here we can draw a normal over here and it will be deviating denser to rarer medium away from the normal so r we need to find out the angle of emergence also complete the path of ray through the prism from which phase will the ray emerge and at what angle so it will be emerging through the phase cac okay this angle also you should find out how can we find out this angle here it is given as 30 degree and this is 90 degree therefore this also will be 90 right then what will be this angle this will be 60 degree 60 30 90 so 90 180 degree together it is 180 right so it will be 9 60 so if this is 60 how much will be this one 30 degree what is the reason because ah yes it's normal right this one is normal so here it is 60 this will be 30 degree 90 okay now we got for phase ac angle of incidence is 30 degree we need to find out the angle of refraction refractive index is given as 1.5 refractive index of the second medium with respect to first medium is given as sin i by sin r so here refractive index of the first medium only it's given right refract made of material of refractive index 1.5 so we can write it as n12 equals sin r by sin i so what is n21 refractive index of first medium is 1.5 equals sin r divided by sin 30 so what is sin 30 1 by 2 1.5 into 1 by 2 equals uh, sin r so here we will get it as 0.75 r equals sin inverse 0.75 okay this one using log table you can find out the answer uh, the answer you will get it as 48.6 
see one day i'll show you see i am uh, trying to uh, take the see get the uh, what is that cloud stable uh, from the net itself i thought i'll uh, do a screen recording for this how to find out sign off some angle sign inverse and all how to find out that when i'll do one video i am working on it when i'm getting that uh, i'll uh, surely send to you okay uh, because may, uh, many times one of my student had asked through this uh, kartik may, many times kirtan had asked me for this log table and i'll do a video i'm working on it okay then next question a transparent cube of side 210 mm contains a small air bubble its apparent distance when viewed from one face of the cube is 100 mm and when viewed through opposite face is 40 mm what is the actual distance of the bubble from the second face and what is the refractive index of the material of the cube So first, uh, first we will give the question. A transparent cube of size two ten millimeter contains a small air bubble. So this is a cube which is having a side two ten millimeter. So this is two ten millimeter, and an air bubble is here inside that. Okay, and its apparent distance when viewed from one face of the cube is hundred millimeter. So when I am viewing from this side, its position is suppose it's over here. It is at a distance of hundred millimeter from one face. I am looking the apparent position is hundred millimeter, and when viewed through the opposite face is forty millimeter. When I am viewing the bubble from this side is it's forty millimeter. Okay, this is forty millimeter. What is the actual distance of the bubble from the second face, and what is the refractive index of the material of the cube? Okay, so how can we find out the refractive index uh, for the material of the cube? See, refractive index n is equal to actual depth divided by apparent depth, apparent position. So for the face, first face, this is the first face, and this is the second face. For phase one, okay, refractive index of the material of the medium will be equal to what is the actual depth over here? See, from here I am taking a distance x. The actual position of the air bubble is x. So x divided by hundred millimeter. And for phase two, for phase two, refractive index will be equal to actual distance divided by. From phase two, when I am considering what is this distance, two ten minus x. So therefore, two ten minus x divided by apparent position is forty millimeter. Right. So both are refractive indices. So we can equate that x by hundred into ten to the power minus three equals two ten minus x divided by forty into ten to the power minus three. So this will get cancelled. Zero zero will get cancelled. Five and this is two. Two x equals what is that? One zero five zero minus five x. So here we will get it as seven x equals one zero five zero. Thus x equals one zero five zero divided by seven one seven three. Uh, sorry five five zero one fifty millimeter or one fifty. We are getting it as one fifty millimeter over here. X is given as one fifty millimeter. So x value is one fifty millimeter. Therefore. From the second phase only it is asked, right? So from here, how much distance it will be? X will be two ten minus one fifty. So the answer is sixty millimeter. So this is at a distance of sixty millimeter from the phase two. Then now you, we can substitute in any one of the equation and find out the value of x. N is equal to x divided by hundred minus hundred into ten to the power minus three. So it is sixty into ten to the power minus three. Here you will get it as three by five. Okay, clear. This is how we are finding out the value of refractive index. Okay, clear. So next we will do one more question relating to the total internal reflection. 
Next question is, a point source of light S is placed at the bottom of a vessel containing a liquid of refractive index 5 by 3. A person is viewing the source from the above surface. There is an opaque disk of radius 1 cm floating on the surface. The center of the disk lies vertically above the source. Liquid from the vessel is gradually drained out through a tap. What is the maximum height of the liquid for which the source cannot be seen at all? So that is the question. So here a point source of light is placed at the bottom of a vessel. So I am considering a vessel. Here a point source is kept at the bottom of a vessel. <coughs> Excuse me. Containing a liquid of refractive index 5 by 3. A person viewing the source from the from above the surface. A person is viewing from here. There is an opaque disc of radius 1 cm floating on its surface. So here an opaque disc is here. And its center is center of the disc is just above the source. It is given like that. Right, the center of the disc lies vertically above the source. Then the liquid from the vessel is gradually drained out. What is the maximum height of the liquid for which the source cannot be seen at all? So if, so it is draining out uh, actually, so we should find out this distance. What will be the maximum height? Okay, so after um, when we are viewing from here, when it is draining out to this much distance, afterwards we can't observe the source at all. Till here we can observe. Okay, so when a ray of light is passing from here, it will be passing through the surface of separation. When it is at the critical angle. Okay, so we can find out the critical angle using the formula. See, we know n is equal to sin i by sin r okay refractive index of second medium with respect to first medium so refractive index of first medium with respect to second medium is sin r divided by sin i right first medium is this one so it is given as what is refract sin r so refractive index of first medium with respect to second medium will be equal to 1 by sin c okay clear so here and we can find out the refractive index that is n is equal to 1 by sin c. Here this distance is h. What is this radius? Radius of the uh, disc. Here 1, milli, 1 centimeter radius, an opaque disc of radius 1 centimeter. So the radius of the disc is given as 1 centimeter. Height we don't know. Okay, this height only we need to find out. How can we find out this height? For that, first we are finding out sin c equals, sin c equals opposite side divided by hypotenuse. What is the hypotenuse here? r square root of r square plus h square. This is sin c. Therefore, n is equal to, that is 1, uh, sorry, 5 by 3 equals root of r square plus h square divided by r. Squaring both the sides, 25 divided by 9 equals r square plus h square divided by r square. Therefore, 25 r square equals 9 r square plus h square. Okay, here we will get it as 25 by 9 r square equals r square plus h square. 25 by 9 minus 1 into r square equals h square. So here when we are solving this one we will be getting it as 16 by 9. 16 by 9 r square equals h square. Therefore h will be equal to 4 by 3 r. 4 by 3 into 1 centimeter. Like that we will be getting. So this is the height. Maximum height. Till this height we can observe the uh, 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 source. Clear children? So this is some of the questions related to the previous day and I think it is useful for you and if you like the channel please don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Thank you for watching. Bye.